Reds. Mm. Is that better? That's pretty good. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Good morning. We love you. Happy Monday. No, happy. I get it all the time. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. We should redo this. <laughs> Yay. Well, but, um, in a way, it's our first. It is our Monday. Because yes. Yesterday, we had to go to the dentist and get. Our chopper's clean. Yes. Yeah, so today is our Monday. Good, today. good save. <laughs> okay. That's cool. Well, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday. Let me say it that way. Mm-hmm. And today we start another new book, you guys. That's right. That's so cool. So today is 1 Peter 1. And of course, that means with a new book, we get... A new intro. Woo-woo! The intros are awesome. I, like I, I have fun doing it. I, I know it's a little long sometimes, but I hope you guys like it too, because I enjoy it too. Well, it brings it to I life. learn a lot too. Yeah. It's really cool. It's pretty good. Well, so the intro for today, 1 Peter 1. So my notes are, and they're a little bit long, but um, so 1 Peter is written by Peter. That makes sense. Just like John written by John. But he was sort of the leader among Christ's apostles. The gospel writers emphasize this fact by placing his name at the head of each list of the apostles. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was a neat little yeah. point out, too. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. And he was originally known, and you guys probably remember all this from our other readings, but he was originally known as Simon in Greek or Simeon in Hebrew. And, of course, later Jesus changed his name to Peter. And his brother Andrew is the one who brought him to Christ. I think that's so cool. <clears throat> and I think it's, that just kind of shows how important family is, though. Mm -hmm. Because... um. It's it's just neat. We all play a role in each other's lives and helping to further the kingdom of, well, God really works in us, but it's yeah, kind of cool. It is. But so his brother brought him to Christ. And so Peter was married and his wife accompanied him in the ministry, which I thought was really neat too. I remember Paul saying something like that. Mm -hmm. He said that um, they might not allow to bring a, a believing wife like the rest of the apostles. Yeah. And he named Peter saying that he had a wife and stuff. It's really interesting. And that must have been pretty tough too, traveling and and. Remember, they're not, they weren't always welcome at places, so that's a lot to, you know, have to go through. Um, but it was interesting, too. Later, his wife, um, Peter had to watch his wife get crucified, um, but he encouraged her by saying, remember the Lord. And then when it was time for him to be crucified, later on, he um, reportedly pled that he was not worthy to be crucified like his Lord, but rather should be crucified upside down, which tradition says he was. So that was very um, kind of beautiful, really. It is. So... And First Peter was mostly, most likely written just before or shortly after um, July um, A.D. 64. And the reason they mentioned July in that intro mm -hmm. is because that's when the city of Rome burned. Oh, so okay. that is um, why that sticks out. And so the Emperor Nero is the one who burned the city. But he was crazy. He, he blamed the Christians. He had a scapegoat. So he blamed the Christians as why it burned. And that resulted in persecution against Christians. And so that sounds like today. It does. Uh, yeah, it's true. Like that, they blame Christians for um, <coughs> anything that goes on. They blame Christians for, and like Christians, uh, like real Christians, mm -hmm. are supposed to be an asset to society and stuff. So true. Why did they pick? Well, they're you know, evil. Why. Yeah, yeah, true. Hi, mom. Thanks for joining us. Hi, mom. Good um, morning. But it was neat though. So the emperor, and it's not. Um, and blame Christians, and thus Peter is writing to this letter to strengthen them and to teach them how to live victoriously in the midst of all that hostility, mm. which I thought was awesome for even today too. Yeah. And so he's um, without it's saying how to live in that a midst of hostility without losing hope, without becoming bitter, and while trusting in the Lord and while looking for His second coming. Mm. I thought that was really cool. I can't cry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is pretty amazing. So. I got one little thing left. Um, so Peter wishes to impress on his readers that by living an obedient, victorious life under duress, a Christian can actually evangelize his hostile world. So I thought that was really beautiful, too, because no matter what's going on in the world, we can still evangelize and share God with others. That's pretty cool. So that was the intro. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Thanks. Well, mine's uh, not too long, but it has a lot to do with what you said there with him. Uh, he's talking about how he was suffering and so yeah. bad. And, and um but uh, Peter writes, you know, blessed be God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, of course, his great mercies cause us to be born again. And um, one thing I, I think about all the time is, and I, I think it's important, is like when we pass by a graveyard, mm. um, it's like I used to kind of go by a graveyard and kind of like, you know, I don't really want to look at it, I don't want to think about it or whatever. I might read tombstones or whatever, but I didn't really want to think about it too much. But now when I go by a graveyard, it reminds me that this life is temporary. Yeah. And, um, Peter kind of stresses that. He's saying that uh, we have been born again in a living hope. You know, when we look at a graveyard, we can see, well, 
That's not it. All of our savings, all of our working hard, all the things we might build up in this life, all well, it's going to it's going to end. Yeah. But our hope isn't in that. We have a living hope in Christ, which is awesome, it's beautiful, and exciting. And not only just a living hope, but we have um, an inheritance that's imperishable and undefiled. And and Peter points it out: our citizenship is in heaven. Mm. Even now, as Christians, we're part of that heaven. We're part of that citizenship and that kingdom. That's really nice. And so, what a more joyful. I mean, we're going to go through hard times and things like that, but. We can continue to have our eyes looking ahead because of Christ on something better. I like that so a lot. Nice. And you said, but it, but you know, as we've heard as many times, but you know, whatever men means for evil, God uses for good. So we may be going through some bad times because men are evil, but um, God will turn that into His good. So we can yeah. always remember to keep our eyes and try and on God because it's going to work out the way it's supposed to. Yeah, I mean, God is always God, and we may not understand what's going on mm-hmm. because sometimes go on, and we're like, why? But God is God. That's true. Yeah. I like that. Well, that's it. Well, cool. Well, happy Tuesday. Hope you guys had a beautiful day. Thanks for joining us, Mom. Yeah. We love you, and we hope you all have a, be- a, be- a beautiful Beautiful <laughs> Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Well, yeah. we're not having tacos, though. We're having chili. Chili Tuesday. <laughs> all right. Love you. And prayers for Mom. We continue to feel good down in Florida. Yeah. And um, we lift her up in prayer for health and healing. Mm-hmm. And if anyone else needs prayers, let us know. We'll be happy to pray for you. Yeah. And um, and if you guys did anything fun over the weekend, yeah. um, post that on the on the website. Tell us what, like, what kind of fun things you did this mm-hmm. weekend. And, uh, and even if it's just whatever. I saw Brittany um, post. She shared a video with me. Um, her little boy, Levi, she was rubbing his back. And he quit. And she like quit rubbing his back. And he's like, Mommy, rub my back more. And it was really cute. So she had to keep rubbing his back. (laughs) So that's really cool. So anyways, let us know um, how things are going. We love you. And 